hello everyone and welcome to another video so today in this video we're going to take a look at this this is a power delivery trigger also known as pt decoy now what you can do with these is you can trigger a fixed voltage out of your power delivery capable power bank or a power delivery capable charger so i've got these two things here this is a power delivery charger and a power delivery power bank now we know that a power delivery capable charger or power bank is usually capable of giving us and as you can see on this particular uh, charger this is capable of definitely 5 volt which is normal 9 volt 12 volt 15 volt and 20 volt now we can easily get 5 volt without any problem because which is the default voltage out of any power bank or charger but how do we get 9 volt 12 volt 15 volt and 20 volt to do that we will need such triggers now these triggers are available in two variants i've got one here uh, two here uh, which are your 9 volt 12 volt version uh, the other variant is your at uh, 15 volt 12 volt sorry 15 volt and 20 volt version now you can convert a 12 volt into a 9 volt or a 9 volt into a 12 volt if you want 15 volt and 20 volt you will have to buy another module and that module is capable of converting from 15 volt to 20 volt and 20 volt to 15 volt respectively so let me just take this out and show you how it looks so as you can see the module is very very small it's literally uh, the size of my fingertips and to give you some reference I've got this 3.5 mm jack here and as you can see that the module is very very the trigger is very very small now with the help of these triggers what you can do is you can use your power delivery power bank and chargers to run your modems which, which runs on 12 volt or 9 volts now in my case I've got two modems one of them runs on 12 volt and one of them runs on 9 volt so I've got two modules here and as you can see this is a 12 volt uh, module and it comes with a female jack at the end so what you can do you can plug in a USB-C to USB-C cable and at the end of these two terminals uh, if, you, if you look at the back side you can see this is your, your plus terminal and this is your minus terminal if I connect two wires on top of these terminals at the end I will get 20, sorry, 12 volt out of this because this will trigger 12 volt with the 9 volt version I will get 12 volt, 9 volt with the 15 volt version I will get 15 volt and the, with the 20 volt version I will get 20 volt and then I can use the output of these two terminals to run my uh, 9 volt, 12 volt, 15 volt or 20 volt device in my case I will be running my modem, router and sometimes my television set top box so without any further delay let me just connect these and show you how they run as you can see both these have a, a female port so they are not going to be uh, fitting together to do that I will need a USB-C to USB-C cable so here I've got a USB-C to USB-C cable this is a U green uh, 1.5 feet power delivery capable USB-C cable let me plug one end in the power bank and other end on top of the into the trigger now as you can see my power bank also comes with a uh, display which displays the output voltage so that's a good thing we will be able to confirm whether it is triggering uh, 12 volt or not so let me just plug this in and as you can see it gave us 12 volt that means this is triggering 12 volt and if I shoulder a DC jack out to these two terminals I can run any 12 volt device with this power delivery module I've got another module here which runs on 9 volt and on this module what I've done is basically I've already shouldered some wire so as you can see I've shouldered the red wire of my DC jack to the positive of the module and the black wire of the DC jack to the negative of the module this is a 9 volt PD trigger and at the end you will see I've got this cable DC jack cable out of an old uh, power adapter that wasn't working anymore so I broke uh, the cable out of that adapter shouldered the wire on top uh, of the trigger module and here I've got a DC jack and this DC jack directly plugs into my router and modem which runs on 9 volt and I can easily run my router and modem with a, a power delivery power bank in case of power cut I, if in case my main adapter fails I can also use a power delivery charger to run my router so let's plug this one in and see whether this gives us a 9 volt or not so let's plug this in and on the power bank you can see that this one is triggering 9 volts without any problem 
so now let us plug this cable into my modem and i will connect a small thermometer probe here and we will see whether it gets heat how much it heats up when running a 9 volt modem and i will also be running the wi-fi on top on my uh, modem and we will see how long it is able to run without heating too much or whether it is heating too much or not so let me just do that so as you can see this is the power bank and i've connected the usb c cable to it and then usb c cable is going into our converter uh, sorry the pd trigger and on the pd trigger i've connected this uh, probe of my thermometer and then the power from this pd trigger is coming into my 9 volt modem as well as wi-fi i'm also running the wi-fi as well as the modem as you can see this is the uh, cable that's coming out of the uh, trigger and that's going into my modem here, here and here is the thermometer and at the moment the temperature it is showing is 17 degrees celsius now let's come back after 30 minutes and we'll see uh, what is the temperature after uh, 30 minutes let's start a timer and then we'll come back and see what is the temperature so as you can see even after 30 minutes the temperature has not increased much uh, the temperature is still staying constant at 17 about 17 degrees celsius and that's because all of the work is happening right in the power bank itself the only thing that the trigger is doing is basically telling the power bank what voltage it want because the conversion is already happening in the power bank uh, the trigger doesn't have to do anything and that's why it doesn't overheat or heat at all and this is one advantage of using triggers over boost converters or boost cable because boost converters convert 5 volt into higher voltages and when doing that they heat up and they uh, also uh, reduces efficiency of your power bank and your chargers that's why uh, i think using a uh, trigger is better than using a boost converter or boost cable okay so now let me show you how you can convert this 9 volt module into a 12 volt module so this is the close-up of the module as you can see on the top right corner you will see these two uh, points and if you short these two points you will get 12 volts so this is a 9 volt and 12 volt module i can convert this from 9 volt to 12 volt by shorting those two points and if i remove the short bit i can convert this uh, uh, back to 9 volt from 12 volt so at the moment the short is removed and it is giving me 9 volt so if i want to convert this into 12 volt all i will have to do is who is basically i will have to short these two points there so i'm going to use this uh, small scissor here and we will see whether this converts that into 12 volt or not so i'm going to use this point as you can see 9 volt has converted into 12 volt by shorting those two points and if i remove the short and it will again go back to 9 volt went back to 9 volts so this is how you can convert a 9 volt 12 volt module from 9 to 12 and 12 to 9 and if you want 15 volts and 20 volts then you will have to buy another module uh, which has two uh, settings a uh, 15 volt and a uh, 20 volt so if you want higher voltage short the two points up as you can see uh, that on the top right these are two points short these two points you will get higher voltages if you want the lower voltage of that particular uh, module then remove the short uh, make that uh, open circuit and then you will get the lower voltage so this is how you can convert from uh, 9 volt to 12 volt or 12 volt to 9 volt so there we go this was my video on these uh, pd triggers i hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye